I first started, I got up that morning and um, got me a cup of coffee. I had a cough, something come up in my throat, and I had a lot of blood. And I'm like, this is not good. <laughs> so I woke my wife and said, we got to go to St. Mary's. I scanned, found a spot on my lung, and then they recommended right off the bat, said, we're not going to play. We're going to send you right to Georgetown. It looks suspicious for either an infection or a cancer, a tumor. The next step for Mr. Norris is to find out whether it's cancer or not and to find out if it has spread. The traditional pathway for diagnosis, staging, and treatment of a lung nodule starts with a CT scan, a few days later a PET scan, a consultation with a pulmonologist, a bronchoscopy, wait for pathology for another few days, get referred to a thoracic surgeon, get put on the schedule for the operating room, and then have the surgery done. Sometimes this takes several weeks to happen. But here at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital, we're excited to have the ability to combine two different procedures together. This makes us the only hospital in the region that allows us to do diagnosis and removal of the cancer all at the same setting during a five to six hour surgical procedure. So for the biopsies, we need tissue to confirm whether or not it is a lung cancer. And we have the high resolution CT scan. We can feed that into our ION robot bronchoscopy software. And this software allows us to create a pathway towards the target to be able to zoom in to find out which airway is the correct airway, the closest airway to get to the target. The navigation system allows us to preview the pathway of where we're going to go. As we drive through the airways, you'll see a virtual reconstruction of the path to get to the target, following the blue line through the airways until we're headed straight at it. This information is then put into our robot bronchoscope in the suite where we perform the procedure. A flexible bronchoscope is a camera placed through the airway down the mouth so we can find the tumor with a direct visualization with a camera. And through that robot, we're able to place small needles and biopsy forceps. The pathology of the tumor proved that it was an early stage lung cancer. And then we turn the patient over to Dr. Margolis Dr. Margolis did a robotic assisted thoracic surgery with removal of the lobe that the cancer was involved in using small incisions up to about an inch in size. It was always one procedure on the same day. Felt great. Right after the surgery, I was sitting up in bed and the facts that I had the biopsy and they just give the okay to just do the operation right then and there. That was great. Didn't have to come back. So today we want to go over the CAT scan results. And the good news we see is no signs of any spots that look suspicious for any new cancers. Two thumbs up. Thank you, Dr. Appleton, very much. Thank you. I'm grateful to you know, have this done and be able to spend time with my wife and family. I love every minute of it. MedStar did a fantastic job and I really, really appreciate everything.